OK. Hello, everybody. My name is Nadia and I'm a member of the marketing team at Oaklands College. Thank you for joining our webinar today to find out about the college and the opportunities available to you. Last week we should have held our open days, but due to the current circumstances, obviously this wasn't possible. However, we wanted to offer you the next best thing, which is the webinar today, giving you the chance to see some of our facilities, find out more about the courses, meet some of our tutors and to hear about college life. With us today, we have our business development manager, Jackie Higgs Housen, members of the curriculum uh, and assessors available for a Q&A plus some of our student support team. If you have any questions, please use the ch chat functionality and the team will answer. We can also take questions after the webinar. Can I ask that everyone's video cameras are off and audio set to mute for the webinar? We don't want to keep you too long and are aiming to run for about 30 minutes. We will also record this session and post the link on our website. We understand these are difficult times for you and want to assure you that Oaklands College are here to support you on the next stage of your education journey. On behalf of the college, I'd also like to thank the NHS and key workers for all of their amazing support and work throughout the coronavirus. Right, so now I'm going to hand you over to Jackie to take you through <laughs> the presentation. Okay, thank you for that, Nadia. Um, I'd just like to say um, welcome again to Oakland's College and to the apprenticeship team and our first virtual open events. Um, as Nadia said, I'm Jackie. I'm the business development manager from the apprenticeship team, and joining us today are Nikki who looks after childcare business admin and accounts apprenticeships, Sharon, who looks after engineering, Kerry, who looks after construction trades, and I hope that we have Andy with us, who looks after the golf green keeping. So let me just um, give you a quick overview of how we plan. I know Nadia's just told us. We'll have a quick look at the facilities because as an apprentice, you will have potentially one day a week at college. Um, we'll talk about what an apprenticeship is, why choose an apprenticeship, what employees we work for and what apprenticeships we offer, our student success stories, which we have many and it's been quite a challenge for us to choose just a few and the team will talk you through those. Then we'll look at how to apply for an apprenticeship and um, at the end we'll look at, um, we'll, we'll have a live Q&A session. If I could just say at this point, um, don't worry about the chat bar, just type your questions in. Um, we're here today to answer anything. Um, we're not checking your spelling or anything like that. So just fire your questions away. And don't worry if you think it's a silly one. You can bet your life that someone else is thinking the same thing. So don't be frightened to ask us questions. So first up is the uh, St Albans campus, also known as Smallford. It's absolutely beautiful, as you can see from one of the pictures. It's um, in a fantastic countryside with excellent sports, equine and construction facilities. We're currently undergoing a redevelopment of our sports ground and our teaching facilities. And this is on the website if you'd like to have a look after this event. Um, here you will study for your construction trades where we have fully equipped and industry style workshops. Other apprenticeships which do um, college based learning here are accounts, early years, teacher training and the new apprenticeship equine. And then if we move on to our next campus, which is Welling Garden City, this is situated close to the town centre and has good transport links. Here again, we have excellent facilities for a range of activities, including engineering and our hairdressing salons. Obviously here you'll be doing your engineering apprenticeships and your hair apprenticeships. So what is an apprenticeship? Well, firstly, let me tell you that Oaklands is a nationally recognised apprenticeship provider. We work with a large number of apprentices and, and employers. We deliver excellent training and our apprentices have fantastic results. An apprenticeship enables you to enter the world of work, earn a wage, new skills, whilst you're working towards an a nationally recognised um, qualification. It is a mixture of both on the job 
training and classroom based training in most cases, which will enable you to develop the skills you need to develop into your chosen trade or your chosen career. So it means that you have a full time job, your training, you're developing your skills, your employer will give you time to study, your work with an assessor and or a tutor to gain the skills and knowledge you need to achieve the recognised qualification. You may attend college to work towards that qualification and here you'll receive specialist training from an assessor in the workplace and in the college. So the benefits of an apprenticeship. You'll work full time and you'll be paid a salary. You'll attend college. The amount of time is dependent on the course or the apprenticeship that you're doing. For example, engineering tends to be two days in college and accounts, for example, is one day. You will earn a minimum wage. Some cases employers pay more than this. You must be employed. However, in the current climate, we fully understand that this might be quite a challenge. So we will be helping you look for an employer and matching you with your apprenticeship. However, we do, uh, we do encourage you to look for yourself. An apprenticeship can be from 12 months to four years, depending on which traineeship you're following. 20% um, of your working hours will be spent in off the job training. Let's just summarise that for you. Basically, you're going to be earning while you're learning. Uh, you'll be paid a salary, you'll learn job specific skills. And from these, you can progress to a higher qualification, a degree or employment in your chosen trade or career. So why choose an apprenticeship at Oaklands College? Well, you've seen that we've got fantastic campuses. Oaklands College is the only FE college in Hertfordshire to be ranked in the top 50 apprenticeship providers in the country. And that's according to ratemyapprenticeship.com. So we're pretty proud of that. We work with a wide range of local and national employers, which we'll look at in more detail in a minute. 90% of our apprentices go on into work or further training. And we offer personalised assessor tutor and study support for all of our apprentices. So what apprentices do we do at Oaklands? Well, we've mentioned a few of them. We do engineering. We've got construction trades, which include bricklaying, carpentry and joinery, plumbing and electricians. We have hairdressing, childcare, golf greenkeeping, business administration, accounting and equine. I can see some questions coming up, but we're going to answer those at the end of the session. If once we've done our PowerPoint presentation, um, we'll then answer all those questions. So I can see the question about money. So here are just are some of the employers that we work with. We have Brockett Hall and Hanbury Manor, where we help them look after their greens. We've got Coca-Cola um, with an Airbus. We have a lot of engineering apprenticeships with them. Business administration tends to work across a, a range of our city councils, which are local. We've got St Albans here and we've got Hertfordshire. And our accountants are working with companies such as LIPA. And we'll have a look at a few more employees on the next slide. So our golf apprenticeships are from St Melian, which is down in Cornwall, up to the Grove, which I'm sure some of you have heard of with the famous recent visitor, Mr Trump. Engineering, again, we have apprenticeships with Airbus, Coca-Cola and Ocado. With Airbus, you've probably heard it in the news quite recently. They've been helping the government um, and supporting the NHS. Um, Coca-Cola, we have it's mainly in the manufacturing and the engineering and with Ocado as well. So you won't be out in the van delivering food, which is probably what you've seen a lot of lately. So childcare, we have um, lots of local nurseries and schools. Business administration, as I said, with a range of employers. Um, and lots of local councils and through to digital agencies such as My Mustard. Construction trades, um, plumbers, electricians, bricklayers and carpentry with large employers such as Boras and Taylor Wimpy and also lots of smaller independent trade firms. You've probably seen them driving around. So hairdressing, we have the Hair Academy and Tom Ashley over in Hartford and accountancy working with companies such as Liebherr and Barco. So a big range there. I'm now going to hand you over to our um, team of apprentice coordinators to talk you through just a few of our success stories. Thank you, Jackie. Um, hi, I'm Nikki Yates. I'm coordinator for some of our soft skill apprenticeships that we do, which is business admin, childcare, 
IT, um, health and social care, and supporting teaching and learning, as well as a accounts apprenticeships but um, we have Morgan here as you can see on the screen she was a fantastic apprentice the company that she works for Amptel Fire and Security um, really supported her to get through this apprenticeship they gave her the opportunities to develop skills and behaviours over and above what you would normally expect when you're working and the idea of the apprenticeship is that she has learnt those while earning a wage um, we know with obviously people are thinking about salaries and they did give a competitive wage to her while she was learning she really enjoyed the knowledge and she's actually now moved on and um, she's her next plan is to go off to university so we're really proud of Morgan um, hello my name is Kerry um, I'm the coordinator for the trades area so as Jackie said previously that includes carpentry electrical plumbing town planning um, and we have up here Joe now Joe was um, quite young when he started with us in a, as an apprentice um, and he had very good support from H&L um, he worked his way up well basically through through his apprentice he managed to kind of fly through it um, really really good support from his employer and he secured a job at the end of it so that was a really good um, career progression for Joe and that he's managed to secure himself a job um, as Nikki said during that he was um, he did have really good support from his employer and managed to um, learn lots of obviously supporting skills to go with any construction um, carpentry beg your pardon that he needed so that was a good success story for Joe thank you Hi, uh, it's Nikki here again. Uh, I'm just going to talk about um, Hugh. Uh, Hugh actually was a progressor, so he actually did his level three with us and then uh, he moved into level four. So within Oaklands College, um, we are able to offer different levels depending on the job role that you're doing. My Mustard is a digital uh, company. Uh, again, fantastic for the support that they gave Hugh to, to move on. He wasn't sure if he wanted to go to university or he wanted to go into work so by doing the level four he felt that he's got the knowledge to move on now whilst he was earning he doesn't have that student debt around his uh, his neck because through the student um sorry through the apprenticeship levy that means the student doesn't have any debt which has been very important for quite a lot of our young apprentices because they've got other things they need to be thinking about so again with uh with Hugh he has really enjoyed himself with us and he's gone on to do better better and better things um within the company he stayed there and my mustard are already have brought through two other apprentices as well because they've got great faith in the team and we know that the assessors for this particular area have got great skills They've got great knowledge, uh, but they're also there to support the learner on many different levels. So we're really proud of the team and also with you. Um, moving on to uh, Josie. Josie was our level two hairdressing apprentice. Within the hairdressing area, we've actually moved away from frameworks and we're now moving on to standards. And Josie was one of our last uh, trainees that went through as a a framework apprentice and when I say we now have standards and the idea of standards is that rather than everything being internally assessed we, you have an endpoint assessment with an external provider and they are making sure that the standard and the quality of the apprentices that come through are of the highest level and that is what we aim at the moment Amanda who is our hairdressing assessor she teaches a group on a Monday she teaches a group on a Tuesday as well We've had our very first uh, apprentice go through in a standard and she got five out of seven outstandings within her EPA, which the assessor said was extremely hard to do. She also was one of our apprentices that we awarded Apprentice of the Year to. So we're very proud of our, uh, of our hairdressing team and also of our hairdressing assessor, Amanda. I don't think we have Andy with us, so I'll just quickly go through um, the Greenkeeper of the Year. 
Um, recently at, at um, Oakland, we hosted over 160 um, greenkeeping um, people, if you like, employers. And um, a young the, William here was presented with the Ryder Cup. And we've got here, it's same Mr. Ryder, but a different cup for the Oakland College Student Greenkeeper of the Year. His assessor, as you can see in the picture there with the glasses on, Rob, stated when William started his apprenticeship with us, he felt a little anxious. He quickly found that he was suited to greenkeeping. William applied himself to his studies, gained the English and maths he needed and worked hard at his greenkeeping knowledge and his skills. With support from Rob and his employer, he managed to achieve a distinction in both the written exam and the endpoint assessment, which is where he's tested on his practical skills. He gained an overall distinction on his apprenticeship and is now a professional golf greenkeeper. We have about 150 um, greenkeepers, so we have lots of apprenticeships that we can help you with on that front. And I'm just looking to see if Andy's joined us, but he doesn't seem to have. Hello, can you hear me? Oh, you're there. Come on. Do you want to go back and um, talk a bit more about that, Andy? Yeah, sorry, I've been trying to get in. It, it, my my computer won't link into the system for some strange reason, so I've had to come in via the normal, the way the students have come in. That's, you're here now, so welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, where were you? Just want me to give an oversight of William, perhaps? Oh, I've where? just done that. If you just okay, want to sorry. talk a bit in general about the greenkeeping apprenticeships itself. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. So we run two apprenticeships. We do a level two. Uh, level two is a 20 a 24 month period of study um, at, the, at the end of it you'll take an exam and an EPA which is called an endpoint assessment um, so also you'll need as with all apprenticeships you'll need at least level one maths and English and you'll have to attempt level two maths and English you don't have to pass it but you have to attempt it and obviously if you pass it it's better for your career long term so what do greenkeepers do? Well, basically, they tend to look after golf courses. So they start off as an apprentice. You'll be doing the sort of general jobs, uh, tea marker moving, divoting, etc. And then very quickly, you'll be moving forward into mowing greens, using fairway mowers, you know, using equipment that's probably worth more than the average Porsche, to be honest with you. We're talking about forty, fifty thousand pounds worth of mower. Um, and then obviously we do a level three apprenticeship as well, um, which is, a, again, a two year course. But you will need level two maths and English to do that. Uh, and that is more a supervisory role. So normally students will go through the level two apprenticeship first and then move on to a level three. I think probably has already been mentioned. We've got students working as far away as St. Melian in Cornwall, uh, right up here into Hertfordshire, Bedfordshire, Cambridgeshire. So a wide geographic area. Uh, greenkeeping is a fairly fairly good industry to work in. It's got a good career plan. Uh, a lot of our greenkeepers have been working abroad. They work in Europe, Australia, America, and obviously the whole of the UK. There's about 3,000 golf courses in the UK, so there's uh, considerable employment opportunities. So uh, never short of work, that's for sure. <laughs> that's great. Thank you, Andy. Okay, thank you. In, in, and just if we just carry on with the last few bits of the presentation, then we'll answer your questions. I just want to say thank you to Jane. If you can see that she's popped on the chat there, um, the minimum wage. I'll talk about that in a bit more detail in a minute. Um, those of you who are on apprenticeships that have um, college based learning, just to give you a little bit of an idea throughout your apprenticeship, you'll be trained in a specific skill with your with your employer whilst you're at work and an assessor and your tutor. You'll then demonstrate this knowledge, as Andy and I've also mentioned, at an endpoint assessment. And so those of you coming into college again and haven't perhaps been in class for a while, or those of you that are keen to leave school, the classes that we have are um, we have tutor led um, classes. We have lots of group um, and individual activities. And, and then assessments and we've skipped on to the next slide. So as an apprentice, um, as I've mentioned, we, you will have an assessor who acts as your mentor throughout your training program. We have regular monitoring of progress and performance with both the employer and the assessor and a tutor if that's applicable. Classroom learning for um, your apprenticeship, Oakland's apprenticeship will obviously take place at Oakland's College. Um, sometimes as is the case with greenkeeping, you'll have some teaching at the course. Um, and as a student at um, Oakland, you will have access, full access to our student support um, facilities. So just finally and quickly, how to apply for an apprenticeship. We encourage you to do it. You can do it in a number of different ways. Obviously, in the current climate, can you just pop back to that one for me, Nadia? 
Thank you. Um, we have the email contact up there, which is um, your, this will be available to you after the end of the virtual assessment uh, day. Um, you can employ, apply online through our website. Um, we have a job link there, but obviously in the current climate, um, things are slightly different. So we encourage you to apply online and um, we will then arrange for an assessor to give you a ring and you'll have an interview. Um, we, we fully understand that there's a lot of anxiety surrounding uh, the current situation um, and we will give you as much help as we can to matching you with an employer. But as I said earlier, we do encourage you to um, also look for a, a look for employment and an apprenticeship. And I think that's all I have to say. I'm going to pass us back to the team now. And um, Nadia, do you have anything to say? OK, so I just want to say that if you're intending to apply for an apprenticeship straight from school, um, we know it's a difficult situation with grades at the moment. Um, but you will be getting your results from school on normal results day in August uh, in line with government guidelines. So once you've applied, we'll be in contact regarding enrolment in August once we've been, uh, been made aware by the government of the next steps and we'll keep you informed between now and August. Um, once enrolled on your course, you'll begin in September um, and we welcome you to Oakland's College. So in the meantime, to keep up to date with the college news, can you please visit our website and follow us on social media? Um, and that includes Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok and Twitter. And don't forget to visit our website to apply for your course. So um, we've had a few Q&A's, so um, if anybody wants to uh, take over, we've got assessors on hand to answer any questions we've got. Let's have a little look. OK, if I just um, re reiterate on the one that Jane has answered, um, the minimum wage for under 18 is £4.15p and, and an hour. That's recently gone up in tw April 2020. Um, that, will, uh, that will vary from employer to employer. Some people stick to the minimum wage and some people may offer you more. And that will go up throughout the course of your apprenticeship and changes with your age. OK, we've had a question about um, qualifications. Um, do I have to do functional skills? One of the team want to answer that one. The question, the answer to that question is you may have to. It depends on what level of maths and English you've got. Uh, technically, for apprenticeships, most of them uh, lower level apprenticeships require level one maths and English. Every apprenticeship is different in their requirements. Some require maths and English. Some also require ICT as well. Uh, normally, if you have a C grade in your, in your um, GCSEs or grade four and above, you can be excused. It's known as a relaxation, so you don't have to do functional skills. If you've got less than a level one in maths and English, then yes, you will have to study functional skills. OK, thank you. Um, there's a question about I'd like to do an apprenticeship in childcare level two. Is there one I can take? Nikki, I think you've typed a I, bit of an answer down there. But do you want to elaborate on that for us? Yes, please? thanks, Jackie. I have typed it in just in case Shannon was looking. Um, we do offer level two and level three apprenticeships in childcare. Um, level twos, we do work with the employer. And in some instances, we'll actually do the delivery um, at the workplace if it suits the, uh, the, the learner, um, especially if you're 16 and it's hard to get to the campus. Uh, currently, we do have a, a couple of our apprentices, are, they're very young, they're 16, they live fairly close to the campus. So what they'll do is they come to us on a monthly basis for their delivery and then they also come other days for their functional skills. But again, if you're looking at a level two, always remember as an apprentice, you do need to have an employer first. And obviously, in this current situation, we're going to try and help you find those employers. However, if you have an employer that you're already working with or speaking to um, or that you think that you can make contact with and ask them, are you interested in taking me on as an apprentice? Then please let us know. and We can see what we can do to help uh, maybe contact the employer. But we would like, obviously, to have an interview with you first as well. So I hope that answers the question. Thank you, Nikki. OK. Um, Another question, um, what do I do if I can't find my qualifications? So I guess that's for someone that's a more mature apprentice or aspiring. Um, I, I can maybe pick up on that one. Um, 
we do need proof of obviously O levels or GCSEs, um, depending on which qualification level two or three you've chosen to do. If you can't find those, um, you can sometimes reapply for them from your awarding body or go back to your school, depending obviously how long ago it is. Um, so you can and you can actually pay to get copy certificates. If you really can't find them, what we would have to do, um, depending, as I say, on the qualification level you've chosen, you would need to do functional skills. So you would need to either do um, your level uh, one or two in functional skills, depending on whether you've chosen a, a level two or three qualification. But we do need proof of those if you're going to um, go on to an apprenticeship. Hope that helps. Yep, thank you. There's a question about do you have a game design industry apprenticeship? Well, unfortunately, we don't run those at Oakland's College, but if you look at the government website for apprenticeships, you might be able to find what you're looking for there because they have live job adverts. OK, and uh, another question popped up. What support do you offer for learning difficulties? Nikki or Sharon, would you like to answer that one? OK, hi, everyone. Um, the college has a, a very good learning support team. Um, any apprentices that have any difficulties would go through an assessment to identify the particular um, problems that they were having. And somebody within the learning team would um, work with the student on an individual basis uh, to help support them and get them through their course. So, Debs, I hope that answers your question. As we said on the slide, as um, part of the apprenticeship um, programme, you will have full access to our student support offers here at um, here at Oakland College, and that will involve support with any particular learning need that you may have. Um, oh, Debs, I see you've got another one there. Um, do you have um, a find an employer for apprenticeship help document? If you um, send me an email on the email on the slide on how to apply on the apprenticeship one, Jane and myself will send you um, any more and sort of more relevant information for you rather than talk about it through here. Um, is that OK? And do we have any more questions? Any more questions? OK, from the team, is there anything that you'd like to add um, that people may not have thought of? Um, I think from my point of view, I think uh, taking on uh, an, an apprenticeship, I think everybody needs to realise that you have to be employed uh, and you also have rights as an employee. You're not on a placement. You're actually part of the organisation that you work for and therefore you have the same rights and responsibilities as any other employee within that company. Uh, but additionally to that, then you would have your assessor from Oakland's College that would be there to support you through and give you that extra level um, of confidence as you go as you go through your apprenticeship. Thank you. I mean, one thing that we just want to reassure you as a team that, you know, we, this is the old government slogan at the moment, isn't it? We're in this together. Well, we do understand that in this current situation, some of you are waiting for your grades from school. Um, some of you aren't sure about, you know, what you want to do. And obviously at the moment, we're not sure we're getting all sorts of news coming through. But as a team, we are here to um, work around all the issues and support you and hopefully get you onto the apprenticeship of your choice and forward into a successful career. So although you're hearing all sorts of things from the news, we are in work. We're here full time. Give us a shout, give us an email, give us a call and we'll help you along your way. OK, thank you, Jackie and the team. And uh, just to remind everybody that we will be sending um, a copy of this webinar out to you if you signed up or it will be available on the website. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you, everybody.